Cool. <laughs> good morning good morning <laughs> it is wednesday again yeah. and we have a special wednesday today it's just darlene and i yes and it's also canada day yes. as you can see we're celebrating a little early so no you didn't wake up it's not friday morning you didn't miss a few days you didn't forget to take out the garbage whatever your routine is it we're just a little early yeah and so we hope that um, you guys all have plans for Canada Day. You know, maybe get to sleep in, have a nice breakfast, maybe go down to the Station Arts if you're in Tilsonburg and enjoy some pancakes and mm -hmm. whatnot. Or, I don't know, do you have any Canada Day plans? Uh, we usually go to a friend's house for a barbecue and they have a pool, so that's our plan. So it's always a good annual tradition and we have a lot of fun there. Well, it sounds like the weather's supposed to be cooking, so yes. anyone who has a pool will be very <laughs> happy. And maybe the beaches will be very busy, too. Yeah, I'm sure they will be. Yeah. Maybe get in some fireworks. Who knows? Mm -hmm. So, well, I we'll think... start with our... Yeah, we should remi remind everyone. If there's anything anyone would like, you can... Anything anyone would like to order, you can uh, email Cher Cynthia at CherishJesus.com or Tammy, T-A-M-I, at CherishJesus.com. And so to go with our Canada Day theme, our door prizes are Canada Day theme too. So the first prize is a Canada flag that you could quilt up, hang in your window, on your porch. I have a little uh, red and white fat quarter bundle. I think there's eight here. Mm -hmm. And then we have a little um, kind of a Canada Day runner, a little table runner with little ants carrying off a watermelon, a little Canada flag. There's a little kit has everything in there to make that. So if you make a comment, we'll uh, put your name in a draw, and hopefully you win. So what do we have today? So we are sticking with our Canada theme, and uh, we're going to show you some of our Canada Day projects that you could make. And there's still time. If you have a good sewing day today or tomorrow, you could still get this done for Canada Day. So we'll start with the bag. This is a panel that you just cut and sew. And uh, with all the plastic bags leaving all the stores, this is a nice one that you could fold up and keep in your purse or in your car for when you're out shopping. And this would make even a fun little hostess gift if you are going to a barbecue or, yeah. or someone's house. Just a little thank you for having us over type gift. And yeah, fun little Canada bag. And that panel is $17. And there's a, a few of those left. Yeah. And there's also some placemats. So this is another panel, and there's four for seventeen. Yeah, they're they're uh, kind of like the heavier decor weight. Even the little tote bag, I forgot about that until yeah. just now. So it's uh, just a little heavier, so it's not going to fly off your table. We just did like a simple black on the back. Yeah, and just a flip and sew. So this is a quick, simple, simple little project you can whip up. Be another good little gift to leave mm -hmm. with someone. Yeah. yeah out on their porch or on their patio. Uh, there's also these big uh, Canada panels. Oh, um, can we see the comments? There we go. So this one's just a big moose, picture perfect Canada. This would even be fun to hang off your porch or something for Canada Day if you did it up quick. Yeah, just Something make it like unique. a flag kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. Even, you know, I've been known to just if I haven't got to it because I'm slow, tack it up, you know, like get some yeah. tacks and just tack it up yeah. until next year. <laughs> Hopefully you get to it then. So that's 17, that one. And then we have two of these left. And these are kind of fun because they're the uh, provinces. Let's see if I can. And these are also 17. And, you know, that one you might want to cut up or you could leave it again just mm -hmm. depending kind of more of a poster style yep so just lots of ideas get you in the canada spirit <laughs> makes you want to travel to all these places on here yes <laughs> i'd like to travel to see some other parts of the world or even just canada and then we have the um the mountie canada, one in the mountie in parliament yeah glorious and free and that one's also 17. 
And we have that one quilted up hanging in the shop in our window. Mm -hmm. And then the flag one that is part of our door prize. You know, we, we still have some that you can purchase. So it's just a simple flag. It's got the national anthem written uh, in the words, like it, as the background. And those we were going to sell for $10. Mm -hmm. so. I know there was a lady saying yesterday that they um, decorate their trailer for Canada Day. So this one would be a fun one for that too, to hang over a chair or something to decorate yeah. your your trailer or your camper. Well, there'll probably be lots of people out camping. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. It'd be a good weekend for that. Oh, and one more uh, Canada-themed thing that we don't want to forget about. Um, we'll probably show this again another time with the quilt, but it's the all-wrapped-up uh, quilt kit. It's got everything in there. Uh, maybe we can go down for a sec. With the tree and that quilt uh, is 72 by 88 for 178 dollars and then we'll just show you the panel because you, you can still get the panel on its own and we still have the yardage so this one's Christmas and Canada but never too early to start sewing for Christmas I know that last year I think there was a few uh, people that were making they had children living abroad Oh, and so fun. they were making this for them for Christmas as a reminder, yeah, you know, where they come nice. from. So I think that one was 20? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So that's our Canada segment. Okay. Right, and I think you have a demo. I do have a demo today. So this one is a little different than what we normally demo, but if you go to your local dollar store, you can find different kind of storage bins. So this one's one of a fabric cube one. They work in some of the shelving systems that people have. And uh, I decided to cover it, to make it a little fancier to make it work for your sewing room. So I'm just gonna show you how I did it. So we're taking <coughs> this um, See Who Sews uh, border print. And it is $16 a yard, and you need about a yard and a quarter, depending on the size of your of your storage bin. But a yard and a quarter would be four. Oh, so you get plenty. You get plenty. So you're so, saying that one of the sections does one bin. That's right. Okay. Yeah. That's neat. So then we cut apart, cut apart it in the strips like this. So you're just getting getting your border cut apart. And then the next step I did is I sewed not quite wide enough for the bin that I had. So I sewed a little border on the top and the bottom. And then the top I actually finished with a little hem, just a simple hem. And this is like nothing fancy. Um, I just did the same print, but you could do anything that you have at home. It's just enough to work around it. So and then, so I have one that I partly worked on. Um, I don't know if a close up would be better. Maybe we can go closer. Yeah. <clears throat> so, so um, there's your bin, that there's your the dollar bin, store bin, or you might have store, it. Yeah. yeah, you may have them already. So I just got my handy dandy glue gun out after I did that sewing, and I just sewed. <laughs> Scraping backwards. Here, let me sew the one. line down the side. Oh, you mean you, you put a line of glue? A, gl a line of glue, yes. Sorry. Just glue it down the side. And then I just kind of wrapped wrapped it nice and tight like that. And you're pulling it? Pulling it as tight as I can. And I'm just holding that glue down. So. And then we'll do the next side. Same thing. <clears throat> just a bead of glue. Careful not to burn yourself, because yeah, we always that. do. Okay. <laughs> That's what glue guns are known for. And then same thing, just wrap it up on the side. And just press it down. If you know, you can take your time doing this. Do it little sections by little sections. And then on the edge, so I did fold over and made a little hem on the edge. So I'm just going to glue. <laughs> it's a little different there. when you're, yeah. you're doing it in front of a camera, and then right? Just wrap that around the edge, just all the way down. And then for the bottom, I just glued 
up like that, down like that, and then just kind of as if you're wrapping a present, I just glued it down. And then along the top, same thing. I just wrapped it <laughs> inside like that. You're doing just good. tacked it down. Just tack it down like that. And then you get that nice finished look inside your bucket in the top. Yeah, like this one that you've already finished. Yeah. And then you've got this cute little cute little storage bin that you I mean it's great for holding fabric or your pre-cuts or anything like that it's got the sewing theme just to make it a little interesting to who sews so well yeah, it's, it's nice it's a fun little project that you know sometimes thinking outside the box with your uh, fabric and a little dollar store hack that <laughs> adds some character to your sewing room you well, that tidies things up, you know, like yeah. uh, sometimes you just want things to look nice and neat, even though maybe it's a little chaos in your basket. Yes. But but if the basket's sitting on the shelf, your room looks neat. It does. <laughs> Nobody sees what's inside the basket. Well, then maybe sometime you can pull out the basket and just organize what's in there, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or, yeah. you know, even a project that you're going to get to that project, everything together that you need is in there. And so just a fun way, to, another way to use a border print. There's the bottom. You um, did a good job. That's a good idea because we all have like things at home that we could repurpose or, you know. Yes. Yeah. Everyone's got baskets laying around. I mean, even hard plastic ones would work for this. And even you were saying um, the old uh, milk crates or pop crates. Oh, yes. They like would making even a work. Cover, right? yeah. You could use some batting and wrap it around. So it takes a little bit of measuring <clears throat> to make sure you've got the right width so that you have room to wrap around. But other than that. The other thing that's good is, you know, if you really like a certain fabric, but you don't want to make a quilt because you don't need a quilt in your sewing room or, you know, it just doesn't yeah. work. You know, you can have fun with it and do other things. That's right. So yeah. that's always good. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, great. Thanks for that. Maybe we should show some fabric. So we're always, a lot of people are always interested in uh, the red and white lines. Uh, like getting, help me out, fabrics <laughs> to make a red and white quilt. Yes. So this is a fat quarter bundle that we brought in by Riley Blake, and it's called Red Hot. And so, yeah, some of those fabrics are so pretty, but you just get that light to medium to dark using red and white. There is how many in here? 42 or 135. That's so, a really good deal. That's a lot of fabric. Well, yeah, there's like everything there for if you did a scrappy background and then mm -hmm. did your... Um, blocks and yeah. the reds there's all kinds of uh options there and yeah. then one of the ones that we really loved that's in that bundle is these ladybugs yeah they're just tiny little petite ladybugs but they're so cute yeah they're fun could be like a pillowcase yeah. too or you know even a little summer dress for oh, a little girl wouldn't would that be, be sweet yeah. yeah yeah so that's uh the yardage is 15 yard and the bundle was 135. <clears throat> I also have um, Honey Bee. It's a new line that is new to us from Riley Blake, and that's the Layer Cake 42. Take your black and white and gray and yellows. Some of my favorite combinations. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's some yardage as well. That one's beautiful. Some little bees and some daisies. And then there's uh, that one with the gray background. Yeah, look at the daisies. Nice. Then we have to have a yellow gingham to oh, go with yes, it, right? For sure, for sure. And so, how much are those a yard? They are fourteen a yard. So there's some great summer prints to do something with. Yeah, a lot of people love bees. Oh, I guess I could take them, right? Do you have anything, or do you want to move on to? Oh, we can show more fabric. We can show. We got some more. Uh, just loose back quarters that we thought we'd share with you. I'm still in the soul shine. <clears throat> Just to give you an idea of kind of the colors. Uh, these, hey, you can tell that these are at the beginning of the box because those are my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, there's other ones too. So these are 350E. They're going to be fun to build a quilt with mm -hmm. or do something, yeah. you know. Um, I was looking, you you know, if you want to make a bucket hat, one fat quarter does one side of your bucket hat. So, you know, you can have fun with little bits of fabric, too. That's a fun idea, the summer hats. So I just haven't done it yet. <laughs> then we have one called Chocolate Licious. 
released are all different uh, chocolates and they look like you could just stick your fingers in and have a taste. Cut the cake this way a little. Some cherries. Is there any chocolate covered strawberries? Oh yeah, right there. Yeah. Everybody loves those. Yeah, so those are fun. Those are also three fifty. And I think we had another little batch. Yeah. And these ones are called positive. Paws as in dog paws. So those little hearts and paw prints, little dog, some words, just some fun ones. You could do a little bandana for your for your puppy. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that's a good idea too. Yeah. All kinds of fun ones. Yeah. Good. And those are three fifty each. So just showing you what's new in our um, back orders. Okay, maybe we'll talk about classes coming up because people are interested in getting out and doing some stuff. Mm -hmm. So, um, Darlene is doing the kitchen sink tote bag, and I think we showed this last week, didn't we? Uh, a week or two ago, maybe. So there is a little kit that you could buy if you want this exact bag, but you could always pick your own fabrics. So it's called the Kitchen Sink Tote. Um, it's going to be Monday, July 18th from 10 to 4. Uh, the class is $60 plus supplies. Um, any supplies that you get for the class are 15% off. And then Darlene has a good supply list of everything you need. And there is some homework. So if you think you want to take this class, probably the sooner you get yourself organized, the better. Mm -hmm. So you can call us or uh, email us and we'll get you that information. So that's one class. Then another class here, I'll just pop that in there, is the beginner paper piecing. Um, it's with Gladys. It is Tuesday, July 5th from 10 to 2.30. Um, it is $50 plus supplies. And again, anything you need for the class um, is 15% off. We do have the add a quarter rulers set aside already. So don't worry about needing that. We'll, we'll have one for you. Uh, you know, just simple things, but you get to use your fabrics in your stash for this one. So there is no homework, but you do want to get the list and be prepared of what to bring. And then we had one more. <clears throat> the Jelly Roll Rug Class. People are still interested in making a, a Jelly Roll, roll rug. Mm -hmm. So we're looking for a few more people for this class. And it is Tuesday, July 12th from 9.30 to 3.30, and it's $60 plus supplies. And we do have the sashers, the Jelly Roll sashers set aside yeah. if that's something you need. And, you know, a Jelly Roll and you need the batting, the mm -hmm. pre-cut batting, and you're all good to go yeah. pretty much. Yeah. Okay. And then maybe we should talk about the quilt behind yeah. us. Yeah. You go. <laughs> well, this one Tammy made, our beautiful sample here, and this is a Lori Holt plaid kind quilt pattern, and we have kitted it using the B plaid line from Lori Holt. Um, the quilt is 72 by 80, and it's 198.99. Uh, it's a pretty big quilt, and it, it almost has a Christmas look, but it's not Christmassy. But it, you could use it year round with this, with this fun. The fun colors and all the little trees. Yeah, definitely. There is a ruler that goes with that that you would want to get. It's the tall triangle ruler. It's probably going to not show up as well. <laughs> but it will help you cut out those trees to get your um, your points. You know, get that lined up. It works really well. So I recommend that you get that. And the ruler is thirteen seventy five. So and that's a ruler you could probably use for a some lot of other things. Projects. Yeah. Yeah, that was interesting to make a bunch of trees at this time yeah, of year. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So, you want to talk about the last little yeah. bit of fabric? We have some new Christmas gnomes that came in. People are still loving their gnomes. Loving their gnomes. And so this one's got the truck on it. And do you remember how much this one is? No, I don't. <laughs> hmm. 
yeah, I, I guess you'll have to call us and find out. Yeah. It's reasonable. So there's that, and then there's some yardage that goes with it as well. And we got these little trees. And we have... Oh, that's cute. The border print. The border print. I'll open it up a little so you can see all the little trucks and the trees. See the little reindeer. I love gnomes. Just very, very cute little gnomes. Border print, and then we have a, an all over print too. So these are 16 a yard. Yeah, that, that's cute too. The, the little, yeah, it's a very fun one. It's a little whimsy. I think gnomes always are though, right? Yeah, I guess <laughs> you've got a good point. But the adding them with a the little red truck is, yeah, the little red truck is just makes it more classic, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. everyone loves that little red truck. <laughs> I think the last thing is this uh, wall hanging behind us that Angelique made. Um, I'm sure some of you that have been in the store have met her. She usually mm -hmm. works Thursdays. Yeah. So she fell in love with this turtle. And so she decided to make it. She used boutiques. Well, I think what started it was this border. The turtle print. Yeah. yeah. She fell in love with the turtle print. And so she made that wall hanging. Um, yeah. It's an applique wall hanging. She did a really nice job with yeah, her she did. stitching. and. Yeah, that's really nice. She had a lot of fun with it. So we do have the patterns if you're interested in making your own turtle. And um, the size of that is 42 by 42. So it's like a good little mm -hmm. thing to hang up. A good yeah. size. Okay. Is that everything? I think so. All right. <laughs> I, I, should, I should mention, though... Um, this past weekend, I had a birthday, and so many of you wrote happy birthday on the Facebook page on the post that Taylor and Leanne did. So thank you very much. I did have a great day just with my family, so it was the best way to spend a birthday. But mm -hmm. uh, thank you for all your kind words and your happy birthday wishes. And yes, I'm having lots of fun in my car. <laughs> oh, yeah, we love that bug. Yeah. It's like punch buggy, <laughs> no punch bags. Yeah, yeah, I've always wanted one, so my husband stumbled across a used one, and and he bought it for me, so that was a fun surprise, and yeah, it's a lot of fun. So, <laughs> been rolling down the windows, yeah, and yeah. driving down the highway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. People can see me coming because it's yellow, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, well, we knew it was going to be yellow. Yeah. <laughs> All right, then let's do door prizes. Let's do the flag first and see who we have as winner today. Gwen Brewer. Gwen Brewer. Congratulations, Gwen. Um, then we'll do the little fat quarter bundle. D. Williams. Okay, D. Williams. Congratulations. And then the little runner. Don Morris. Don Great. Morris. Congratulations. So if you want to let me know if you're going to pick up your door prize or if you need it mailed, hopefully we'll see you. Uh, just a reminder that Shop Hop is starting next week. Next week. Yeah. Yep, Monday morning, bright and early. I don't know if there'll be a lineup at the door or not, but... <laughs> that would be exciting. Yeah, we'd be happy to see a lot of your faces mm -hmm. that we haven't seen in a while. Um, we've got our block ready and our quilt. Yeah. So we're ready for Shop Hop. Yeah, it should be a good time to see a whole bunch of people and have some fun with quilting. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, we hope you have a good week and a happy Canada happy Day. Happy Canada Day. Bye, everyone. <laughs>